All right, guys, it is your fun Friday, and you finally made it through another week. I know how you're feeling. Ha, ah, we, we're here. We're here. Got to love that feeling, right? So here we go. You know how we're going to start every the lion within us. It's going to be with Scripture. This week's Scripture, right out of Matthew, Matthew 28, 18 through 20, the Great Commission. Then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Guys, that's great scripture. Go back to the spiritual kickoff two episodes back. You want to dig deeper into it? I really unpack that. And, and, and from what I learned from studying this scripture, prayerfully that will serve you well, give you some insight on how you can take it and apply it in your life. And if you missed the Wednesday episode, shame on you. But seriously, go back and check it out because Dale Partridge brought the hammer. Guys, I mean, he brought so much truth. You know, if you're earning, churning, and burning to serve Jesus, you need to listen to Dale. I mean, he's doing some phenomenal work at Relearn, the things he's doing with Mail the Gospel. Guys, I'm telling you what, he is, is, he's making an impact. I mean, a huge impact on the, key, on the kingdom. We talked about biblical masculinity, what that looks like in your church, how you can start making an impact yourself right where you're at right now, what you can start doing to help serve others and to start really moving that needle, that needle and swaying that pendulum back towards the center. Because, guys, it has really gotten off to the, to the effeminate side, and we need masculinity back in our church. And the pastors don't know what they don't know. We, they need feedback from men like you. So if you're listening to this, you are that guy. And, guys, we also he talked about how men just need to start singing, and I mean really singing in our churches. And let's bring that octave down a little bit. Let's level it out. Guys, the thing that he said at the very end, I remember, and I'll remember this for a long time, believe wrong and you never live strong. Guys, you have to make sure you're believing in something that's true. And, and, and what is true is Jesus and God's word. You have to have an understanding of that and have a hunger for it, to get it, to let it soak in. So guys, go back and check out that episode. That was a wonderful conversation with Dale. He is bringing the hand, I'm, I'm telling you, He's making an impact, and you want to make to be part of what he's doing. Highly encourage that that the manliness of Christ and using that in your in your local Bible studies, in your groups, and your line stands, whatever you got going on. But we'll talk about more of that here in a little bit. Now let's go to our tips. Got a health tip, a wealth tip, and a self tip. Okay. Now I told you on, on Wednesday's episode, the self tip is going to get you some brownie points. So just hang in there with me. But your health tip to get started. Remember, health, mind, body. This is more for your mind. I want you guys to create a list of gratitudes and there needs to be one for each year of your life. Okay. So if you're 41 like me, you should have 41 of them. Okay. And keep them handy. They need to be on you, you know, or somewhere, maybe they're in your Bible, but they need to be there. And those gratitudes, they're going to be custom for every one of you guys, you know, Maybe the gratitude is that personal relationship you have with Jesus Christ, but then maybe your wife, gratitude for your children, your hobbies, the, your career, the, the things that are happening in your life, have them. Baseball, right? Maybe you're, maybe you're a Braves fan and your gratitude is, you know what? I'm a Braves fan. I enjoy that. Put those out there. The Lord wants to hear them. Nature, getting outside, spend, you know, just being, hunting, fishing, right? Um, football. Whatever those gratitudes are, fine dining, write them down and keep them handy and refer back to them. When when you're down and when Satan's attacking, pull that out because worry and worship, they can't live together. So use gratitudes to uplift, to worship, to, to thank him for what he has blessed you with. So guys, this is a simple exercise. And if you start doing it and, and, and we'll just work through your list. Now, once you get your list done, add one every time you have a birthday. You know, every birthday, add a gratitude, add a gratitude. And guys, just watch that list grow and, and, and just be reminded of the blessings that he has bestowed upon you. Guys, he has given us so much and we often forget the little thing we'll forget. So write them down. All right. Now, for your wealth tip, okay, now we'll take this back to raising our kids, okay, a little bit. I want you guys to remove that word allowance 
and start using the word commission. Very simple. Okay. And I can't remember if we've talked about this on the line with Dennis, but if we did, it's been a long time ago, but I want to bring this back up because we have too many kids growing up these days thinking that the world owes them something. And that's just not true. That's not the case, right? They need to understand that money is associated with hard work and that's it. If we make that connection mentally that, you know what, if I work hard, I will get compensated. That's a big deal. So just that little verbiage change by not using the word allowance and using the word commission, that's a big deal. They need to hear that. They need to understand what that means, right? Build them up. Put that in their head. You know what? Equate hard work with reward. That's a great, great thing to start teaching our, chi- our children. And guys, it starts, it starts with you. You are the head. You're the, you're the leader of the house. Start making those little changes. And that's a simple one, guys. This is not a big one that you have, you have to go think about and sit down and commit a lot of time to. You can start doing this one today when you get home, right? You could, you could do that and, and start really moving a needle forward. Now, the self-tip. This is the one I was telling you guys about. Now, I got this, full disclosure, from a lady that, that I go to church with. She did this for her husband. I thought it was phenomenal. I actually participated in it. I didn't even know what I was participating in until after it was done. She told me about it. But what you can do, make a scrapbook of encouragement. Okay. That's not, and I know I just lost a lot of you guys. You said scrapbook. Hang with me. You know, I wouldn't be giving you something that's super cheesy. This is real. This is really simple. What you can do is your friends and, and maybe coworkers of your wife, reach out to them and ask them to send you a note of encouragement. Could be a text message, could be an email, whatever it is. Okay. And then to compile those all together. Okay. Into a document. And may, and depending on how big it is, maybe you, 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 uh, increase the font size, make it towards as many pages as you want and put it together. And you can put it together like a three ring binder, maybe in a bratted type folder, maybe you decorate it, maybe get your kids to decorate it. But that could be a wonderful birthday present or Christmas present, right? Think about how Satan attacks all the time. He's always attacking us. He's always attacking our spouses too. And he's pulling them down. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not a good mom. You're not a good wife. All these things he's constantly hitting her with. These little, little bitty notes of encouragement and affirmations do so much. And it could be something that she could pull out and, and, and refer to and just have that, that, that reassurance that, you know what? I am blessed. And people recognize these things. Guys, this, is, this could be a wonderful little present that you could do for her that would really make an impact. It'd be much, I mean, I'm telling you guys, we don't need any more stuff. All of us, we have too much stuff. This is a memory. This is what the lady told me. She's like, I want to create memories. And this is something that, that her husband is going to remember forever. And, and it, he'll be able to pull that out. He'll be able to go to it in those dark times during those trials. With the, and guys, if you're not in a trial, just get ready. Because you're either in one, coming out of one, or you're getting ready to go into one. That's the three, that's kind of the, that's the, the rule of trials. So just depending on where you're at, prepare yourself. So encouragement like this can really build people up. So guys, I really highly, highly recommend lean into this tip. Go ahead on your, on the next event that comes up. Maybe it's an anniversary or a birthday or Christmas and start polling some people. Ask them, hey, just send me an encouraging note. What, what, what do you think about my wife? What, what makes her special? And just see what comes in. You're going to be surprised at the wonderful feedback that comes in and just put it together. It takes a little bit of effort, but guys, anything worth doing is worth, is, is worth doing right. You got to put some effort into it. So there are your three tips, guys. You know, n- number one, health tip, that list of gratitudes. Get that going. Wealth tip, stop saying the word allowance. Start using the word commission. And self tip, hey, we need to put that scrapbook of encouragement together for our spouses. Guys, it's going to be a big impact for you. Now, the book of the week, we've been talking about it all week. There's no surprise here. The Manliness of Christ. Highly encourage you guys to check this out. Check out the show notes. There's links there so you can get it. Add us to your library. I recommend you do not buy one, that you buy 10. Seriously, buy, buy enough for your group. Get them. Get them for your group and go through it. Buy the study guide. Get, 
guys, again, all that's in the show notes right there. You can, you can check this out. But guys, this is going to be a blessing to you and the men around you that as you as you grow together. Okay? So now, dad joke time for the lion within us. Dad joke number one. What's the longest English word? Smiles. The first and last letter are a mile apart. Come on, guys. That was pretty good, I thought. So that, here you go. That's number one. Number two. Why aren't koalas actual bears? They don't meet the qualifications. So that's more for the, probably the kindergarten and down crowd. But hey, I'm not, who's the judge? They may, they may work. So just let us know. Number one, what's the longest English word? Smiles. The first and, la- and last letter are a mile apart. And why aren't koalas actual bears? They don't meet the qualifications. So there you go, guys. Let us know which one hits. Remember, eye rolls do count. So uh, send us a note back. And also, if you have a dad joke we need to use, send it to us, support at thelionwithin.us. If we used it, we'll give you a shout out here on the podcast. So question of the week, do you see masculinity in your church? That's a very simple question with a very complicated answer sometimes, guys. If you're not seeing it, you need to be it. So do you see masculinity in your church, guys? Again, this has been a great week talking about the the manliness of Christ and, and having Dale really unpack so many of his thoughts and ideas that, are, that, that I just feel like they're going to serve us in so many different ways, guys. Check, you know, again, check out his book, go back and listen to the episode, share it out with others. And then at, at the end of the day, join the lion's den, jump over to the, to, to the lion within.us and join the lion's den. Maybe grab some swag. we got the hats going on here. Maybe be a donor. If you're enjoying what we're doing, if we're serving you well, jump on and be a monthly donor of the show. Support us. Guys, it takes a lot of work to put the show out week in, week out. Three episodes. We're cranking. We have guests that we're, we're that prayerfully serve you well. Their expenses that, that come with that. So join. Be a donor. That would be wonderful. You know, but if, if not, just join the Lion's Den for free. Hop on the email list so we can start uh, just serving you, giving you some encouragement throughout your week. You know, check out the Bible study. Check out the, the online courses. Guys, we've, we, we've built a lot of things to help you in your walk. And we know everybody's at different places and we get that. So we're trying to figure out, okay, what can we do for no matter where you're at to give you truth, help you be, build confidence to lead. You can do this guys. The lion within us is here to serve you and guys. If I can help you with your church, if I can maybe uh, help with your men's group, hit us up support at the lion within.us. Maybe you want me to come speak or, or go through the Bible study, or just give you an encouragement on a, on a Zoom call. Be glad to do all that stuff, guys. But so reach out to us. You know, be active. You know, don't don't just be a consumer. Jump in, because that's the only way that we're gonna start making an impact. Again, leave us a rating and review. That does make a big difference, guys. I know I ask for it every week, and the reason I ask for it is because it matters. If you've listened to the line within us so far, and you have not left a rating and review, please consider doing that. That really does help. That gets that gets us in, in more ears, having more conversations with guys that really matter. So, guys, I pray you have a great weekend. Get after it. Start, sh- you know, be bold. We need to start sharing the gospel more. Go check out the resources that we dropped this week. We give you guys a ton of resources here that will help you grow in your walk. So, I pray you come back next week and join us. Enjoy your weekend. Now it's time to unleash the lion within. Most men know what it's like to do life in a vacuum and feel isolated on the journey. We believe every man needs a community to help them become the men they were created to be. More than just a website or podcast, we are a community of Christian men who are committed to supporting and encouraging one another on our journey to become the best versions of ourselves. We are men who have fought the good fight and come out victorious. The lion within us is here to help you stop feeling lost, defeated, and alone. Instead, find community and connection with other men that will help you achieve your goals, live a life of purpose, and be the leader God intends you to be. Visit thelionwithin.us to join the new growing Lion's Den community today. (laughs) 